Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Testing one, two, three, four, five to see if everything's working here for right now and seeing that everything appears to be online. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A check of the very hot weather forecast for today. Not much is going to be changing out there, unfortunately, as we see the potential for more hot weather across the Mid South throughout the rest of the day today. We may see some relief heading our direction as we get into the next couple of days in the form of less hot temperatures. Don't really want to call them cooler at this point in time, but that's about as good as it gets for right now. Coming up, we'll take a look at some of the webcams across the area. We'll take a look at how much time we've got left until autumn arrives. Not necessarily cooler weather, but at least when the seasons officially change. And we'll take a look at the tropics to see what's going on out there. And if anything is heading toward the United States as we approach the peak of hurricane season, that'll be coming up here in about the next three weeks or so. Rest of the forecast today, if you remember what yesterday was like, you got a good beat on what the forecast is going to be for today. And temperature is going to be going back into the mid to upper 80s by the time we finish up News Channel 3 live at 9. Mid to upper 90s as we go into later on this afternoon and developing chances of showers and thunderstorms some of which could be on the strong to severe side so watching off for that as well as the heat forgot to mention if you can't stick around for our entire uh, netcast that we do here forecast scrolling by in the bottom blue bar of your screen or you can catch our entire seven-day forecast by going here to wreg.com questions concerns ideas about what we could feature on here drop me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com we'll see what you got to say out there also drop your locations and your weather reports into the comments section and we'll read off some of those as we go along throughout the rest of our netcast here time until autumn a month plus about 10 days give or take and a little bit of spare change on on that as well as autumn officially kicks in Monday, September 23rd. So we've got a ways to go. Now that doesn't guarantee cooler weather coming up. We've seen some very warm Halloweens around here. So through October, we can get easily back into the 90s once again, but at least we're less than about maybe a month and a half away from the actual countdown toward about the autumn arrival anyway for right now. Oxford at the University of Mississippi, sunshine galore. 81 degrees, that's again decently cooler than some of the rest of the Mid-South, but with that humidity out there, it already feels close to about 90 degrees. Pretty much the same across northern Mississippi. From former mayor, current meteorologist Sam Reichard on the Weather Underground webcam network in Olive Branch, Mississippi, 84 degrees, 79 percent humidity. Feels like 94 degrees at the, old, at the uh, Olive Branch airport for this morning. Looking back over the area around Germantown, around Poplar Pike, close to the railroad tracks, Germantown Parkway, the water towers north of Germantown High School, and just barely visible, the towers of East Memphis around Poplar and Mendenhall out there on the horizon. Temperatures rising pretty rapidly, already back in the mid-80s at this time here. Sunshine galore, also from the Weather Underground Network at Rhodes College in Memphis, with mainly blue skies being seen here, but some clouds popping up on our cotton exchange camera from downtown Memphis overlooking Riverside Drive and the Mississippi River as it flows on down to the Gulf of Mexico. Traffic on the heavy side as we approach the peak of rush hour just past 8 o'clock around Appling back toward Germantown Road. Still pretty clear here in and around the area of East Memphis at this point, but a lot of activity going on north of us as our next cold front starts to drop into the area as we see some thunderstorms between St. Louis and all the way back to just northwest around Louisville, Kentucky, right along the Ohio River. And all of this is going to be missing us, but more activity like this will be possible in the Mid-South later on today. Dyersburg, 83. Kathy Mount, thank you very much for that one. Uh, weather report there. Dustin Brumfield, 84. Humid in Smithville, Mississippi, from a fellow amateur radio operator, 73, from KG4GKE. Thank you very much for uh, that one right there. Amber Parsons, in need of fall weather. Have to agree with that one, no question about that for right now. And also seeing again the possibility of more chances of showers and thunderstorms into and around the area for later on, but really not much of anything else uh, going on into and around the area for today at this point in time. Next, again, going to be seeing the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms popping up later today, but we've got little, if anything, happening right now. We were watching some scattered showers and some thunderstorms north of us, some light sprinkles earlier on in northwest Tennessee drifting across I-40 east of Jackson toward the Tennessee River. Minimal chances of rainfall there, but more scattered showers trying to pop up southwestern Kentucky, southern Illinois, and southeastern parts of Missouri on Storm Tracker 3S radar. A lot more activity like this possible into the rest of the day. 
But the main weather story is, of course, the excessive heat warning that is in effect until 8 o'clock tonight or until conditions improve. This replaces the heat advisory that was in effect yesterday, and it's for all of the News Channel 3 viewing area, which means it's going to be hotter and over a larger area than what we saw yesterday. So anyone in this area, including around Shelby County in Memphis, will be seeing heat index temperatures. And again, that's the temperature plus the humidity to get that feels-like index for those of you who are out there saying that we make that type of stuff up for ratings, it's not made up. It's real. It's an actual equation. You can look it up. It does exist. And again, we use that to make certain you know what's going on out there for safety's sake. So for right now, this is what we're looking at. Dangerously hot weather. How bad is it going to be? Again, temperatures today could be topping on the heat index scale 110 degrees, maybe even around or over, as you can see scrolling by right there, about 114 degrees in some areas in Shelby County. Yesterday, some unofficial reports of 120, 125 degrees plus in some parts of the Mid-South area. So once again, outdoors today, got to use a lot of caution when it comes to anything involving work or exercise. Try postponing it if you can till the later parts of the day when the sun's not blaring down on you and heating, your, uh, heating you up out there. And also know the signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. We'll talk about where you can learn more about that coming up in just a little bit. Humid, 82 degrees at Jack's Creek, Tennessee. Thank you, Beth Nash, for that one. Brian Wilkes, 101 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm assuming that's a very dry heat out that direction, so thank you very much for that one. Uh, Ra Ra Bryant, when will I start to cool back off? If you're talking about the seasons, uh, at least another 40 days away until autumn, so not looking too much better on that. Temperatures right now, again, we record this and netcasting this just past 8 o'clock Tuesday morning. We've already got temperatures. University of Memphis campus, 87 degrees. That doesn't sound too bad, but when you add in all that extra 80, 90 percent humidity, feels like 104 degrees, and the sun's barely been up for about two hours now. So we're looking at some very warm weather out there on live real-time WeatherNet 3 and not getting any better through the rest of the day. Now through about midday, patchy scattered showers possible. This afternoon, as we get into around dismissal time for the kids, unfortunately, that front ambles its way into the area north of I-40. That'll be the best possibility of thunderstorms. Toward about drive time home and dinner time tonight, that front starts to make its way through the metro area and the I-40 corridor. South of that, scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up from time to time, but also, again, seeing the potential of more showers and thunderstorms, again, causing just a bit of a problem out there into the rest of the forecast. So going into tonight, we'll see some of those more powerful thunderstorms sticking around and heading into northern Mississippi and southeastern Arkansas. That'll be right after sunset. And then through about midnight, most of what we've been seeing in the way of showers or thunderstorms should be coming to an end and should not be a problem for the rest of the area as we go into very early tomorrow morning. Again, it's going to be the possibility of scattered thunderstorms out there containing some heavy rainfall. Could be a lingering shower or thunderstorm tomorrow, but again, that should be about it. Severe threat for today. This is a brand new forecast from the Storm Prediction Center, the National Weather Service agency responsible for issuing these forecasts, showing a larger threat now of a slight risk of severe weather from the eastern parts of the viewing area southwest Tennessee, extreme northeastern Mississippi, and back through middle Tennessee back to the east. So that'll be the best possibility of severe weather. Now in the rest of the Mid-South, the lesser marginal threat for the rest of the area, it means it's not as good a chance as here, but here's the important thing, it's still a chance of severe weather. So once again, that's what we're going to be looking for as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. So some chances of that happening best, again, in the eastern parts of the viewing area, east of Shelby County, and again, as we go throughout the rest of the evening, sinking from north to south as we get into tonight. So keep it tuned to the weather experts for updates on what may be, again, a stormy night across much of the area. They'll be developing throughout the rest of the day Temperatures for today, again, back into the mid-90s, a few upper 90s out there, maybe even broaching 100 degrees if we get enough sunshine across the area, but mid-90s will be the rule for today. Tomorrow, the rain should be over with by the time we hit midnight tonight and afterwards, upper 80s, so we will begin to cool off, so to speak anyway, back into the mid to upper 80s by about Thursday. Warming up toward the weekend by around Sunday, we're back in the lower 90s. Now, does that mean another heat advisory in our future? Right now, it does not look that way, but again, that's still 
pretty far off into the future, so we're going to have to watch and see what happens there. Good morning to everybody who's joining us out there for this morning. Uh, thanks a lot to everybody for the weather reports. John David King, very good point. Again, make certain you stay hydrated out there, and please make certain your pets are taken care of too, either back in the air conditioning or with plenty of shade and pl plenty of fresh water to drink. Remember, they're wearing the fur coats. You're not, so let's make certain they're all taken care of out there. Through next week, again, any outdoor plans Monday and Tuesday, that'll be our next best chance of any sh organized showers and thunderstorms. Doesn't look like much for now, but if you've got a golf game scheduled outdoor with the grandkids and picnic at the park, whatever you've got going on, Monday and Tuesday, that could be a bit of a problem out there. So temperatures, again, kind of moderate a little bit, but then head back up into the lower 90s. And this is about normal for this time of the year. So we could see, again, the possibility of less in the way of cooler weather anytime soon across much of the area, so not really helping out much on that. Planning on traveling to Florida, the Keys, the Gulf Coast, the East Coast states, the Bahamas anytime soon. Not much of anything is going on at this point, and you can thank the Sahara Desert for that, sending a lot of dry, dusty air off to the west, and that dry, gritty air does a good job of kind of quashing any development of any storms out there. So for right now, according to the National Hurricane Center forecast, things are going to be quiet out there for the next two to five days. Now we may see an uptick in the next few weeks. Very important to know if you're traveling again to any of those locations to pay attention to these NHC forecasts because if you're heading into an area that has a storm heading toward it, you don't want to be going there. You want to make certain you stay out of the path of that storm, and we'll help you do that by keeping track of these forecasts out there into the next few days and the next few weeks. Peak of hurricane season happens in about another couple of weeks. The peak is officially September 10th, so we're close but not quite there just yet, so we could still have a bit of an active season. If you've got pets, please remember that, again, the paws, the pads of those feet, if you take them out for a walk, that asphalt, that black asphalt, does a good job of absorbing a lot of sunlight, and that can cause a lot of damage to bare feet out there. Concrete's a little bit cooler, but not by much, and when you have the temperature out there and the sunshine directly on that, the asphalt can be at about 155 degrees or even hotter. This is just a generic baseline graphic of temperatures out there. So if you've got pets and are taking them out for a walk, remember this just to test things out. Use the palm of your hand. Hold it over whatever surface is out there for about seven seconds. If you have to take your hand away after about five to seven seconds, if it's too hot for you, the, the skin on the palm of your hand, it's too hot for them. So please remember that and try to, again, keep them on the grassy areas someplace where they're not going to burn their paws, and that can be a serious thing, so please remember that. We'll have more details on that at wreg.com slash weather. Welcome to everybody who's in town for Elvis Week 2019. Not as blazing hot as it has been in the past. The candlelight vigil will be coming up Thursday evening at 8.30. Weather right now, it will be very warm and kind of muggy out there, but mostly clear skies, sunset right before 8 o'clock, and the vigil officially kicks off at about 8.30 and continues as long as people are going up to pay their respects to the king of rock and roll at Graceland. Doesn't look too bad this year, not as dangerously hot as it was, but once again, that extra thermos of ice water would be a very good idea. All right, one more check of the forecast out there for the rest of the day this afternoon into this evening. Thunderstorms developing, partly cloudy skies. If it gets dark and clear enough tonight, you might be able to see some leftover meteors from the Perseid meteor shower, but with that just past full moon, that glare of the moonlight may do a good job of drowning out some of the smaller meteors out there, so it may not be easy enough to see those across much of the Mid-South, but worth a try anyway. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at weather underscore WREG3, and we'll keep you updated throughout the course of the rest of the day. We'll have updates on the hotter weather throughout the rest of the day, of course, on News Channel 3 on air and online. And, of course, Tim Simpson and Jim Jaggers will have more on your forecast coming up tonight, starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. Questions, concerns, weather pictures, anything like that, please send them along to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And whatever you do today, if it's outdoor work or exercise, please use caution and common sense. It's going to be a dangerous day for pushing yourself out there. Want to know more about what heat injuries are all about? Head to wreg.com slash weather. Scroll down beneath the forecast for updates from the Centers for Disease Control, where they have tips on hot weather first aid, what to look for when it comes time for people who have been pushing themselves too hard in the heat, what to do, 
and how to react if and when that happens. So something to think about, safety's sake, again, first and always, especially in weather like this. Thanks for joining us for the early morning edition of Weather Overtime. More to come throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3, on air and online.